Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Mauricio. How are you guys? Hi. Good what's, evening. What's good? What's good? Good evening, Jocelyn. That's the name of one of my sisters, by the way. And Sophia is the name of another of my sisters. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Luis Molina, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Luis. I'm sorry, guys. I just finished one. I just finished one of my classes. Whew. Um, that was pretty cool. All right. Uh, how are you? What's What's good, Mauricio? I, I don't know. I don't remember your last names, guys. So I don't know. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Morales, Morales. Okay, Mauricio Morales and Mauricio. Uh -huh. Velasquez, Velasquez. Velasquez, okay, right. Very good. Or I can say one and two, right? <laughs> Mauricio Morales, how are you? How was your day, Mauricio? Yeah, it was, it was uh, uh, tired and busy. I have a, a lot of things to do. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Hold on. I'm sending a message, guys. Time for Cheyenne. <laughs> Right. What well, do you say? Do you, I, I heard that you say all the time that Duolipa? What is that Duolipa? What is what is what is it? Uh -huh. It's what not is a, that? It's a chupadero. Uh huh? It's oh, really? Uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I, 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 I can't say. I can't say why I understood that. But uh, it's uh, it's it's a uh, it's a famous singer. Uh, ah, okay. It's a cantina. <laughs> it's a chupadero. <laughs> All right, very good. But yeah, guys, it's a famous singer, right? Um, so how was really? your day, guys? Yes, yeah, she's a she's a beautiful singer. Right, that's that's why we brought it. That's why we bring. Send it a picture. Right? Send a picture of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't send a picture. You send it. Okay, if you want to do, it, you send it in the. Just, just Google it, right? Just Google it. Ah, okay. Stitches, okay. All right, just look for for stickers. Like she, she might have stickers. If you go to stickers, she might have a sticker there. Which I think I have a sticker. Do I have a sticker, Bobby? Let's see. Hey, I seal all of your stickers, guys. By the way. No, I don't have a sticker about her. I should. <laughs> all right, Ricardo, welcome. Victor, welcome. Uh, Italo, welcome. Remember to have your camera on, guys. How was your day, Ricardo? What did you do today? Uh, well, I, I was in my work. Mm -hmm. um, um, in meeting. I was in meeting um, a lot. Okay, all right. That's uh, that's good. Okay, so you got a you got a pretty busy day today, huh? Was it pretty busy today? Sorry? Was it pretty busy today? Was it a busy, busy day? Oh. Busy. Busy day. Yes. Spanish. Like that. Busy is like when you have, like, for example, a lot of work to do during the day. And then you don't have time to do other things. So that is busy. Just busy. Okay. Occupa like okay. Occupation, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Uh, very good, guys. Um, so today, guys, we're going to finish, not today, right? Uh, tomorrow. We're going to finish section three, guys. But tomorrow guys, is Friday. Uh, yeah, we really? have a class tomorrow, guys. <laughs> really? Yes, as we do. Oh. huh? Really? What do you mean, really? <laughs> really? really? I've been telling you that, guys, tomorrow. All right. Go, go to... Go to Chupadero after class, okay? All right. We have to we have to sing with Duolipa. Right, right. Duolipa's uh, bar. Uh -huh. Duolipa's bar. Duolipa. But, but after class, guys, okay. All right, guys. Next, so, next all right. to lips. <laughs> all right, guys. Did we finish section two, guys? Did we complete section two? Do you have any question, guys, regarding section two? That something that you might not that you might have not completed yet. Or are we good? Mauricio, Mauricio, the, the other Mauricio, Jocelyn, Ricardo, Luis, Italo, you know, Victor? Yes. Okay, I have two, two answers wrong. You have two I, wrong answers, okay? Yeah. I am, I am in section three. Okay. 
I'm gonna start taking attendance, guys, if you don't come early. Uh, but thank you for being here early, guys. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Jacqueline, welcome, Jacqueline. Uh, do thank I leave? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's I'm totally checking her. <laughs> oh, okay, right. You're yeah, checking the, the bar. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm checking the bar. <laughs> you guys, right? Bad. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, which questions do you have incorrect? Let's go through them. I'm going to help you with that, guys, so, uh, you know, uh -oh. take advantage of this time right now. So we're going we're gonna to backtrack to section two right now, guys, just for a moment so we can take a look at the answers, okay? So which two answers are incorrect for you, sir? What section is it? 2.10. 2.10, all right. So child prodigies. You, should, you need to watch the videos, guys. That's yeah. what's going on. Oh, you start reading the yeah. child prodigy. All right. Give it like, okay. like, like an hour to load, guys. Yes, turn like. It's supposed to be loading. Yeah, there you go. All right, so there you have the answers, okay? The most, we, 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 I, we, we, we saw this in class, guys, okay? You have to watch the videos, all right? So which, which answer? Which answer is great for you? Thanks. Oh, you got it now? Very good. Yeah. All right, another yeah. one, guys? Another one? From section two? Or are yeah. we all good? All right, very good. No, I have, I have a problem with, with one of her. Which one? One of this. Uh, I'm open the, I'm open the, let me see, let me see. Um, the last one, I think so. Picasso's? No, no. Wait. Oh, I read Picasso only. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put Picasso, but but it's bad. I don't know why. You have to use an apostrophe. Apostrophe, okay. another. I have a teacher. I have a problem too with the number three. Gilead School of I, Music in New York. I don't know why. In New York. You have to, you have to check the spelling, guys. Gilead School of Music, just like that. Gilead. Uh, Juilliard School of Music. That's the answer. Right? Juilliard School of Music. It's okay. Yeah, just no, Picasso. Juilliard. I have problem with Picasso. Why? What the? I write. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So, all right. First of all, guys, remember. It's nice shot. All right. All right. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Remember, guys, you have to use an apostrophe, not a not a quotation mark. A quotation mark is not the same as an apostrophe. All right. So there is the answer here. Uh, Juilliard School of Music, that's the answer. You just have to make sure that you spell it correctly. Juilliard School of Music, okay? And you have to use uppercase letters when you have to use uppercase letters, okay? All right, so if you want, I'll just type it in here, guys. Okay, and there is your answer too, all right? So let's continue guys because we're gonna move on this is in the videos guys so this is on the video so if you want to watch it guys if you want to review the answers again go to the videos i also sent you the answers to the chat room okay very good guys so let's move on with section number three all right so mauricio i sent um i sent information in the chat room okay all right guys hey guys so let's continue with the fun topic from yesterday all right, participles yep. as adjectives, okay? All right, so I'm gonna ask everyone, guys, okay? All right, to see if you're paying attention. Mauricio, so what is an adjective, Mauricio? Uh, remember that you are muted, guys. I cannot hear you because you are muted. Which one? Mauricio oh, yeah, Velasquez one or Mauricio, Mauricio Morales? Mauricio Velasquez. Oh, is it raining, guys? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's, but adjective describes the noun. Okay, very good. An adjective describes the noun. Very good. It describes the subject, right? The subject or the object of a sentence. Very good. All right. Uh, so what is the difference, guys? Okay, so what are what is a present participle, guys? Uh, Luis Molina, what is a present participle? Give me an adjective in present participle. Yeah, present participle in... I use a, um, 
I and G, you, you can use a, an action, but no feeling. Uh, I don't remember very well the, the explanation, but uh, I, I, I can use a uh, present participle with a feeling, not affect uh, a person, you know, it's not uh, to a, a, a something, for example, a movies. Maybe. Okay. But uh, present participle, uh, I and G. Okay, all right, they usually derive from verbs, guys, okay? But yes, guys, okay, give me an example of a present participle. Okay, um, the movie, the movie is, the movie is interesting. Very good, guys, okay, all right, so present participle, participle. Okay, we got, we got interesting, okay, write it down in your notebook, guys, interesting, very good, okay? okay. All right, what, what would be the... What would be the the uh, the past participle here? Interested. Okay. Very good. Okay, so uh, so that would be actually let's divide it like this. Okay. So we got present participle, interesting, and past participle. All right. That would be interested. In, interested. Okay. Interested. Okay. Good job. All right. Uh, Lea Campos. Let's go. Give me another one. Five, four, three, two. No. Uh, the movie was <laughs> the movie was um, fascinating. Okay, fascinating. Okay, very good. Okay. Fascinating. Okay, and what is the but past I was uh, past is fascinated. Fascinated. Very good. All right, Jorge Lopez. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. The movie is is an entertainment. Entertaining, okay, entertaining. Repeat, guys, entertaining. Entertainment. Entertaining. Entertaining. Very good, right? Entertaining. Now, do me a favor, guys. Entertaining. Do me, do me a favor, okay. Um, I forgot what I was going to tell. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's use let's use another example other than the movie, guys. Okay, let's stop talking about the movie, right? Let's use another, okay? I think that person is interesting, for example, right? So, entertaining, what is the past participle? Entertaining. Entertain. Repeat, guys. Entertain. 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 Very good, right? Entertain. Uh, Mauricio, Mauricio Morales. Uh, yeah. Give me another one. Give me another adjective. Um. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. All right. Think about the answer. Okay, Joseph, give me, give, me, give me another one. Five, four, three. Um, wonderful. <laughs> hey, wonderful. I mean, it is an adjective, guys, but you cannot say wonderful right? No, it's wonderful. No, no, yeah, I know. Um, right. it, okay, it has to derive, guys, from a verb, okay? So, these, all these adjectives, guys, they derive from a verb, okay? Oh, you interest me, because you can say, you interest me, see? What me interesas? You interest me. Uh, you fascinate me. What me fascinas, okay? Are those verbs yes or not, guys? Guys, yes or not? Are those verbs? Fascinating. Um, okay, very good. Okay, so you can say fascinating, right? But fascinating is already here. Jocelyn, five yes. seconds, right? Give me another one. Go. The, the trip was boring. <laughs> okay, boring, okay? Boring. Good job, okay? Boring, right? Boring. What is the past participle? Bored. Bored. Bored, okay? Bored. All right, but give me an example with past participle. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Too slow, Jocelyn. All right, let's go. Uh, Ricardo, give me an example with bored. Can I say the movie was bored? Can I say uh, the bicycle was bored? No. Ricardo Ramirez. No. All right, so give me an example with bored, Ricardo. Five, four, three. Yeah, give me an example. Five, four. No. Can, can you say, all right, Ricardo, can you say the movie or can you say, you know what, the, the video game was bored? Can, is this correct, guys? No, it's boring. No. It's boring. No. Right, no, guys, okay, it is. The movie was, the video game was boring, right? Not because it is not a person. It cannot feel anything, got it? It's like, okay. it's like, it's like you're ex-toxic, right? Cannot feel anything, right? Very good. All right, so... Hey, teacher. Tell me. But but I can see I was bored watching TV. Yeah, you can say I was bored. Yes. 
you can say I was bored watching TV. All right, can I say I was boring? Can I say this, guys? No. No. Oh my God, guys, yeah. you forgot what we, yes, guys. Yes, yes. This is a yes, okay? And this is a yes, okay? Why? Because you can feel, okay? You can, you have feelings? Do you have feelings? Yes or not? Yes, yes. maybe. All right. All right, all right, Jacqueline might not have feelings, right? <laughs> all right, very good, okay? So, yes, guys, okay, we as people have feelings, right? We feel emotions. So, I feel the emotion of being bored, all right? I, I was boring means that I was being boring to other people, okay? Remember, guys, I was bored. Is it, is it the, the doer, is it the performer, or the receiver of the action? The receiver. Receiver. Okay, this is the receiver, guys, okay? All right, um, I was boring. Performer or receiver? Performer. Performer. Okay, very good. This is the performer, okay? All right. Very good, guys. Okay, so uh, let's go. Victor, give me another example. Five seconds with present participle. Go. Five. You're muted. Four. Three. With the bird boring, too. No, no, with any, no, with another adjective. Oh, let me see. Five, four, three, uh, two. <laughs> I give up. All right, all right. Think about your example. I'm going to ask you again, okay? Everybody should be thinking about their example because I'm going to ask everyone, guys, okay? Melody Serrano, give me another one. Um, past participle. Present participle and then past oh, participle. Uh, okay. Um, playing? Playing, okay. Very good. Give me an example. Give me, give me a whole sentence. Oh, Okay. I was playing in the. Uh, I was playing. This is not. This doesn't work as an adjective. Oh, okay. Oh, um, um. Five, four, three, oh. two. Too slow. Okay. Think about an example. I'm gonna ask again. Okay. Jimmy, let's go, Jimmy. I am playing with my. With my. I am. Video game. If I say, guys, I am, I am playing, playing with my video games. With my okay, I'm playing my video games just like this actually. My video games. All right, guys, is this a verb? Is this a verb, guys? Playing? Is this a verb in ing? Is this a gerund verb? Progress. Or is this? Yeah. Or is this a? Is this an adjective? What is it? Verb or an adjective? It's verb. Progress. It's verb. verb, guys. Okay, all right. <laughs> guys, think about it. You cannot say I feel playing. The the like, book I, I, is I feel exciting. Playing. All right. Very good. Okay, exciting. Good job. Okay. So you can say the book is. Exciting, okay. Very good, Jimmy. Redeem yourself, okay. Give me, uh, uh, give me a sentence with excited. Let's go with the past participle. Okay. Uh, uh, I excited. I what? Excited. I excited. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Um. I was. I don't know. Okay, very good. You can say I was excited. Okay, I was excited. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, Jixael Morales, let's go. Give me another example. With with a present participle, um, including as uh, I mean a sentence with a present participle. Uh huh. Five, four, three, two. Oh no, your microphone is not working, Excel. Yeah. The music is boring. Okay. Right. Yeah. Still not working, Excel. Okay. The music. Very good. The music is boring. Okay. All right, um, Carla Gabriela, what would be the last participle? Mm. Five, four, with three. The wording, with the same adjective. Yes. Was bored. Uh -huh. I was bored. I was bored. Can I say that music was bored? It was born. Very good. Right, bored, guys, not born, bored. 
Can bored. I say the music was bored, guys? Is, is this correct? The music was bored? Can I say this? Yes. No. No, guys. Let me ask you something. The music. Okay. Okay. All right. Is this a person or animal with oh. feelings? No. No. Okay. No, guys. Okay. So, no. The music cannot feel, guys. You cannot say... I, the music was bored because it doesn't have feelings or emotions, okay? Very good, all right. Uh, next one, Jacqueline, give me your example. Okay. Um, I was excited about uh, for being a Pink Boy tribute. Okay, well, what is your example, sorry? I was excited. All right, remember that we're using a present. Pink Boy tribute. Okay, right. Remember, we are using present participles right now, and then you're gonna give me an example with a past participle, right? Let's go. Okay. Five, four. Past participle okay. ing. Remember? I mean, I present, know. Participle, present participle ing. Five, four, three, two. Okay. It just changed change the, the adjective for uh, uh, excited, like exciting. All right, but exciting is already here. You have to use another one. I was excited. No, you cannot. You can't oh. say. Uh, all right, very good. Think about your I example. Was... Think about your example and I'll come back how, to you. How... Okay. The gift is surprising. Okay. The what? The gift is surprising. Okay, the gift. Okay, very good. The gift is surprising. Repeat guys. Surprising. 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 All right. Okay. All right. And what would be the past participle here? Um. Italo Gonzalez, what would be the past participle here? Italo, fine. Uh, 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 I was surprised. Very good. I was surprised. Repeat, guys. I was surprised. Right. It was surprised. Uh, Very good. Surprise. Right? Uh, good job. Tatiana Beltran, give me another example. Five, four, three, two. I was surprised. All right, Tatiana. I don't know, teacher. All right, all right. I'm gonna ask you again, so think about your example, okay? Marta Lilian, hello, Marta, welcome. All right, so Victor, do you have your example ready, Victor? One, two. All right, very good. Do you have your example ready, Victor? Uh, no, 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 sorry. All right, very good, guys, okay. Hey, teacher. Hello, guys. Hello, All right? Uh, you, whoever said me teacher, guys, go for it. Me, me teacher. Oh, okay. The mountains are grading. The mountains are? Grating. Grating. Yeah, great. The mountains grating. are great. Grading. Grating. Yeah. What is grading? Oh, the, about beef. Similar beef. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. No, no, no. The, the adjective is great, okay? Grading doesn't exist. Okay. Because, all, right, all right, so very good, okay? We're going we're gonna to see more examples, okay? So 80% of you or 75% of you uh, understand this pretty well, guys, okay? Uh, last example, guys. Jacqueline, do you have your example ready? I think um, the, the exam well, is difficult, uh, um, I think. The exam... Is difficult. Remember, the exam mm -hmm. is. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it, I didn't, it's I a didn't. little complicated for me. Use a verb like a uh, adjective. All right, very good. But yes, it has to be derived from a verb. Okay. I want to turn. Tell okay. me, tell me, Melvi. The exam is confusing. Confusing. Okay. Confusing. All right. Confusing. Right. All right, Jacqueline. What will be the past part? The exam is confusing. It was confusing. Confused. 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 Right. No, it was confused. confused. So the exam can be confused, Jacqueline? Um, no. Why not? Yes. Because it's not a person. Very it's good, not right? Feelings. So what example could you give me with, with confused then? I was confused about the exam. Very good. I was confused, OK? Very good, guys. Okay, all right. So, all right. Most of you got it, guys. Good job. And applause for you guys. Beautiful, 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 right? 
I was. Very good. All right. I have to give you more examples, guys, because we are not, there are some things that we're not understanding yet. So, my favorite, guys, please take notes, though. All right. So, first of all, guys, okay, these adjectives are, okay, these adjectives are derived from verbs. What are they derived from, guys? Verbs. Verbs. Very good, okay. They are derived from verbs. verbs. Okay, write that down, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, the, these verbs, guys, okay, these are verbs about emotions, okay? All right, got it? All right, these are verbs of, of, of emotions, okay? All right. So, for example, guys, you can say, um, you can say, um, exciting, for example, right? You can say, I, well, you can say, the roller coasters excite me, all right? Is that a verb or is that an adjective? Uh, it's a verb. verb. It's a verb, guys, okay? All right, so now. Excite. Exactly. So let's take the verb excite. And let's transform that into an adjective, okay? An adjective which is gonna be a present participle. All right. So how will you transform this into the adjective which is gonna be a present participle? ING. ING, yeah, right? ING. Uh -huh. Exciting. Okay. ING. Very good. All right. And now how are you gonna transform this into an adjective that is a past participle? It is form. All right, so how would you say, what would be the, the past part? Excited. Excited. Excited, okay. Very good. Is it clear, guys? Is this part clear? Yeah. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. give me another verb of emotion, guys. All right, give me another verb of emotion. Google it, guys. Go to Google and look for, you know, right. good, look for this, guys, okay? Look for um, ING versus ED adjectives okay google it like this guys okay and you're gonna come up with a lot of examples okay if if we're talking about emotions we can use um i'm in love but okay but example? The, the verb guys in love is this a verb mm, no no it's not a verb so we cannot use that okay i mean you can say i am in love but this has nothing to do with present yeah parts, but... parts. Okay. It has to be, it has to come from a verb. So think about a verb. Annoy. Annoy, very good, annoy, very good. Okay, so what is the adjective? So what, what is the annoying. person's participle? Annoying. Annoying. All right, annoying, okay. What is the, what is the past participle? Annoyed. Annoyed, annoyed very good, okay. Give me another verb. Uh, now, Victor, give me another verb. Victor, are you there? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's there. Oh, Victor, part uh, teacher. you're muted, Victor. Uh, can you give me another verb, Victor? Uh, let me see. As I mentioned, guys, you can go to Google uh, and just look for. Confused? Go to Google, guys. Okay, confused. Okay, you can use confused. All right, but go to Google, guys, and remember, look for this, guys, so you can have. You can have examples when I ask, okay? Look for ing versus ed adjectives, okay? All right. Go ahead and Google it, guys. Oh. Google it, Google it, okay? Go to Google and look Comfort, for Comfort, teacher. Comfort, very good, okay? All right. The verb is? Comfort. Comfort, okay? All right. So, Melvin, what would be the, par the present participle? Comforting. Comforting, okay? Comforting, right? Will be the past Comfort. Comfort. Comforted. Repeat comforted. 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 Okay. Comforted. All right. Now, let's look at the examples with sentences. Jimmy, give me an example with excite. Using a present participle. I'll, I'll give you this. Teacher, this. Tell me. Este, the movie is the percent. Sería 
I to got come. one. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, you can use interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, so the verb is interest. Right. Uh, the adjective. I mean, the present participle is what? Interesting. 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 Okay, Interesting. right. What is the past Interesting. participle? Interesting. Interested. Interested. Okay, very good, guys. Very okay. Nice. All right, the past participle would be interested. All right, Confused. Confused. Okay, all right. You can use the verb. One, two, one, two. What is the verb, guys? Confused. All right, what is the present participle? Confusing. 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 Okay, right. What is the past participle? Confusing. 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 All right, confused. Very good. All right. Good job. Now let's create sentences. Jimmy, all right. Give me a give me a sentence with interesting. Um the new book is interesting. Very good. Okay, the new book is interesting. Very good. Can I say, Jimmy, the new book is interested? I was interested. I, I hold on, Jimmy. Only to Jimmy, guys. Can I say, Jimmy, the new book was interested? No. Why not? <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, it's not a person. Like, no emotions, it's a right? Book is a, a, a book is yeah. a thing, an item. Okay, very good. Everybody, everybody send me an example, guys. Send me an example with a present participle uh, and a past um, participle, okay? You can use these, these examples that we got here, guys, but everybody in the chat room right now, send me an example with a present participle and a past participle. Got it? Very good. All right, uh, give me an example with a past participle right now, Jimmy. You're saying interested. Interested. Uh, I was interested. Let's Let's talk about your girlfriend or wife, okay? <laughs> uh, I was interested. I was interested. You can say I was interested in my wife. Were you interested in your wife okay. when you met her? Yeah. All right, very good. All right. <laughs> because she's listening, right? Very good. All right. Let's talk about Dua Lipa, uh, Carla Gabriela. Actually, Chayani, come on, I don't know. All right, tell me, uh, exciting, okay? Let's talk about, uh, let's use the present participle of excite. Carla Gabriela, let's go. Okay, I, the video game is exciting. The video no. game is exciting, okay, very good. I, okay, I wanted you to talk about Chayanne, but video game is okay, all right? Uh, give me another one with uh, with excited. Um, with past participle. Mm -hmm. Um, I was excited when I played the video game. Okay, I was excited when I played. The video game. Okay, good job. Uh, let's see. Jacqueline, give me one with annoy. All right, let's use a present participle and then a past participle. Um, I don't know. Give this topic is difficult for me. That's right, it's right. Um, that and that song. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. Close, I think that song is annoying. Annoying, very good. Okay, annoying. that song is Sorry. annoying. Okay, this okay. literally translates to esa canción es molesta. Got it? Okay. But guys, no puedes decir esa canción se siente molesta. Do you understand now? When you yes. say annoying, guys, annoying, the ing form is like you're saying esa canción es, es, es molesta, right? Uh, but not even in Spanish or English, guys, you can't say esa canción se siente molesta, right? Which is I, the AD form, I right? Know. Very good. All right, so past participle, let's go. Okay. I'm annoying. I am. When, uh, I am annoying when I annoying. hear that song. Annoying. 
I am annoying when I hear that song. Yes. All right, this says, okay, this is what you're saying. Okay, let me translate. Yo okay. soy molesta. Yo soy, o sea, Oh, soy my molesta. God, I'm sorry. I right. was. So it means that vos sos molesta para todo el mundo cuando oís música. <laughs> my God, it. I'm sorry. It's all right. So well, how do we say this? How do we say this, Jackie? I was? I was? No, that's not the mistake, right? You can say I am. Okay. I am. Past participle. Annoyed. Annoyed, okay. When I hear that song. Okay, when I hear that song. Now, this means yo eh, me molesto cuando escucho esa canción, right? Got it? It's different. I right? know. I know. I, I, I don't know how to explain, but my difficulty is can use the verb like an adjective. That is my big problem with this topic. Just, uh, you can memorize them. It's okay. Yeah, you, I know. You, you, you can. Uh, because not all verbs, guys, you cannot say, I feel running, right? I am running. Yeah, I mean, I am, yeah, I you can say I'm running, but that is a verb, right? I mean, that, 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 that action verb. All right, very okay. good. Uh, who'd like to try the, the next one, guys? Comfort. Me, teacher. Let's go. The bed is comforting. The bed is comforting, okay? All right. Uh, now, the, the, bed is, the bed is comforting. Yes, you can say that, but you would say comfortable. Comfortable. So yeah. But no, but this is okay. It's just, it has a different context, okay? Um, past participle. What, what would be the past participle? I was comforted with my family. Okay. I was comforted with my family. Okay, good job. Uh, who'd like to give it a shot to the last one, guys? Confused. Me, teacher. Let's go, Jackie. This topic is confusing. It's confusing. Yeah. This topic <laughs> is confusing, yeah. okay? All right, Jimmy, let's go. Let's, let's do the second one, right? Uh, I, I, I was confused. I was by about, about this, this topic. By this topic. topic. Okay, you got it, guys. Woo, an applause for you guys. Woo, that's good, guys. See, you guys are smart, right? All right. Your teachers were bad, guys. That's another thing, right? It's not. It was not your fault. It's just your teachers and beers, right? Too much beer and bad teachers. It's bad learning. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, hold on. Let me reshare the screen here. I hear a lot of children in the background. That's cool. All right. Let me check Thank your you examples. Guys. Okay. All right. Uh. <clears throat> Let's see, Jigsaw says, I was simultaneously frightening and annoying, All right? Uh, that, that does, okay, that means, Jigsaw, that you were annoying and frightening to other people. Is that what you wanted to say? Of course. All right, very good. Que vos sos el que era, que daba miedo. Vos sos el que daba miedo y que era molesto por otras personas. Is that, is that what you wanted to say? Sometimes it's something like that. Okay, very good. And then I was frightened to death to talk to the police. Very good. All right. Uh, Mauricio, I always find the drama, the drama movies confusing. Okay. The class was interesting. Okay. Uh, that song is depressing. I was depressed about that song. I was depressed by that song or by, by that song. The proposition is wrong, but the example is okay. Uh, Leah, Leah Campos, uh, the sofa is comforting. I was comforted. Very good. Jorge, the last movie was depressing. Okay. Which movie are you? Uh, this movie is interesting. Good job. Ixael, this situation is annoying and she was annoyed. Very good, Ixael. Uh, Mauricio, the trip is very interesting. It was interested. Oh, Mauricio, it was interested? Who was uh, interested? What are you talking about? Like, it was interest, interested. Interested. Are you talking about a dog? Uh, I mean, no, I'm talking about the trip. The trip can feel things? Guys, let me no. ask you something. A trip can feel? No. All right. So, is it wrong? Can I say the trip is interested? Can you, uh, puede, puede decir el, el, el viaje está interesado en mí. Can you say that, guys? No, no. Very good. No, right? Because he cannot no. feel. All right. 
it, the trip cannot feel interested, right? So you cannot use, use it like that. If you say it was interested, okay, you are talking, if you're using the, the pronoun it, that means, guys, that you're talking maybe about a dog, okay? Porque los perros pueden sentir, right? Mm -hmm. uh, él está, inter está interesado, right? Like the thing, the dog was interested, right? Okay. Uh, Jorge, I was depressed, okay. <laughs> uh, Jocelyn, going to the gym is so, ti is so tiring, okay? I was interested in this movie, good job. I was tired after exercising, good job, Jocelyn. Leah, the talk was boring, I was, and I was really bored, good job. Jimmy, this, this class is complicating. Uh uh. This class is complicated. All right. Uh, hey, very good job, okay? That, that's actually a very good exception there, okay? Uh, you will need to say this class is complicated. They're very good. Okay, now, guys, uh, Jimmy brought something, guys. There are very few ex exceptions, guys, like this one, okay? All right, you don't say this class is complicating, okay? Wait, yeah, you can say this, guys, but in this case, complicating is a verb, not an adjective, okay? This is a verb, guys, if you say complicated. In this case, this class is complicated, all right? Because this is an exception, all right, with complication, okay? All right, so that's an exception, guys, okay? This is, this class is complicated, all right? Uh, the listen, the listen to romantic music is inspiring. Listening to romantic music is inspiring. Okay, Jorge, that that's that's another mistake in grammar structure. Uh, walk is tiring. Walking is tiring. The sign, the science is confusing. Actually, science is confusing, not the science. I was confused. Very good. I am tired. Luis Molina. Melvin, the new song is relaxing. I was relaxed, but okay, very good. Carla, the magazine is amazing. I was amazed by when I read the magazine. Good job, guys. Good, good, good job, okay? All right, uh, Tatiana, did you send me your example? So I remember, guys, I need everybody on board, right? Send me your examples. Okay, guys, do you have a question, guys? Questions? Uh, write this down, guys, if you don't, if you have not written it down, okay? Um, we describe a noun when we're talking about present participles and we describe a feeling or a noun of a noun when we're talking about ED and uh, ED adjectives or past participle adjectives, okay? Very good, guys. So um, I already explained this, explain this, okay, very good. All right. Very good, guys, very good, okay? All right, so let's move on, guys, and we're going to do exercise. All right, let's couple up, guys, and do exercise 3.4 together, okay? Sounds good. Do you have any questions, guys, before proceeding? El Elinto, mm. question? No? Victor, question? Nobody? No, no, no question. Very good, okay, all right. Let's go, then. All right, let's go. Are you gonna be with me? Uh, yeah, Asus, Asus, I don't know who that is. Uh, is gonna be with you. Oh yeah, we can barely hear you, Mister Asus. You. Asus. Asus. I, I think I'll get you together with uh, two other people because you might not be able to, to understand. Your audio, your audio is, is very low. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you together with another person, okay? And you two over here, all right. Um. Um, Me. Es entretener o no, divertir. Sí, 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 no sí. Spanish, no Spanish, guys. No, I don't know what is a muse. <laughs> Sorry. All right, very good. All right, continue. Uh, es aburrido, creo. No Spanish, no Spanish. Spanish say funny, guys. It, it's French, it's French. It's French. <laughs> <laughs> Entre, 
can I not? Uh, I I I. Thirsty. I finish. I finish my exercise in the afternoon. All right. So if you finish, the, um, then practice. Okay. Practice more examples. Right. Um, okay. Like, good job. Good job. Okay. Okay. You good, guys? Any question? We're good. No, no. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I tore off the camera because. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Tatiana. Hello. All right. What are you doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Yeah. I'm watch. I'm watching you. That's what I'm doing. What are that's you scary. doing? Why? That's scary. Why? <laughs> it's just a joke. Um, we going to work in the platform with the okay. All right, on the platform, right? Very good. Okay. Don't worry. I'm leaving, so you're not scared anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Uh, I'm not interested uh -huh. in science fiction movie. Yes, because okay. I am speaking about the uh, movie. Sci uh, I'm not interested. I'm not interested mm -hmm. in science fiction movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. In number four, mm -hmm. uh, I am number four born. I'm I'm born by watching TV. I'm boring, I'm boring, but no, I'm boring. Yeah, they're saying, teacher, what do you, what do you say? I, I said, teacher, see, ¿verdad? Like you say, I'm boring, estoy aburrido por ver la televisión. Pero mm -hmm. está él, desde él, tendría que ser boring, ¿verdad? I'm bored, uh -huh. I am bored too, mm -hmm. I'm bored by watching TV, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, number five, I thought Jurassic Park was, was an excited, excited book. Ex, ex, am I excited, excited, excited or exciting book? I thought, yo pienso Jurassic Park was an exciting book. I'm really, I'm, I'm really, that is a very confused for me. Eh, lo que yo lo entiendo es que cuando está hablando de seres inanimados, puede ser un libro, un, algo que no tiene feeling, que no tiene Ajá. sentidos, ahí es con, eh, con ING. Pero cuando está hablando de personas que sienten, por ejemplo, me siento aburrido, entonces ahí se usa el ING. El ED, allá no El ED, I was born, por ejemplo, I was born. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, Okay, I'm number six. Let me see. Let number six. I am, I am fascinated by G R R G R R R talking novels. Talking novel. Mm -hmm. I am fascinated. I am fascinated. Ajá, yes. así es. Yes. Cuando está hablando de una persona o una cosa que vive, por ejemplo, el de sí. Perro siente, dijo el perro. Is that with idea at the end, no? Ajá, él dijo, entonces okay. el impacto siente, entonces ahí se usa el ED. Pero cuando estamos Ajá. hablando de un libro, un sillón, una plática, de cosas que inanimadas, que digamos un, un libro es interesante, uh -huh. pero yo me siento interesado, me explico. Entonces yeah. cuando, cuando está hablando de un animalito, que es lo que siente, entonces el animalito es en ED. But for example, the number seven is, it is surprising that horror Ajá. movies are so popular. Ajá, porque ahí está hablando de la movie. No estoy hablando. Ajá. It is surprising. Estoy sorprendido. Yeah. Ajá, no. Es, okay. es sorprendente. Porque dice, it's sorprendente eh, la, las películas de terror. Y son, es, es sorprendente como las películas de terror son tan populares. Son, uh, are so popular. Ajá, entonces está hablando de que las películas 
no está hablando estoy sorprendido, porque si fuera estoy sorprendido o me sorprendí, sería I was surprised o surprised. Pero como está hablando de la película, it's la película. It's surprising, 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 sorprendente, como las películas. Es sorprendente, ajá. Ahí es como una, como una clave, cuando es, cuando está hablando de algo inanimado, que no siente, es ING, y cuando está hablando de algo que siente, es ED. Ok. La lógica por la que yo me llamo. No, it's a, it's a, ok, it's a good, eh, tip, it's logic, it's logic, ¿no? <laughs> Y luego dice, it was, was really, really uh, for example, that's, it was really shocking by the price. I was really shocking by the price. Y está hablando de qué? Okay. Es. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it, I was really shocking by the price por el precio. Que realmente uh -huh. es. Entonces está hablando de el precio. Uh -huh. Entonces está hablando del precio es... Eh, es shocking. Aquí, aquí tengo una duda porque es la misma palabra. Si se fijan, shocking, shocking. Ajá. Y yo puse, eh, puse shocking en la primera y me la puso mala. Puse la segunda y me la puso buena. Aquí sí estoy confused. No, it's a, it's a, porque está mal escrita la primera. Ajá, está mal escrita. Ajá. Dimes. La nueve. Dimes was disgust. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, guys, so let's solve this one together. All right, guys, so what do we got for number one? Um, uh, let's see. Amazing. What is it? Amazing. Johnny Depp is a very amazing actor. Very good. Hey, why, why, why are we using amazing if it is a person? Because we can use Fantasy. an ING verb with a person. Okay, but we can also use am amazed, right? So why is it amazing? But in this case, it's a exception. Exception. It's a description oh, of the, uh, the actor. Very good, okay. Because, because, because about talking the about the people. Because okay. talking about the people and the people feeling. People. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hold your horses, guys. The reason why, guys, because, okay, remember, guys. We have, we have, okay, we have, how do we call this part right here? This is the, the performer, right? The performer of the action. Okay. And this is the, the receiver, guys, okay? Perform. Receive. The action, the actor. actor. Okay. So let me ask you something. Is he performing or receiving the action? Johnny Depp is a very um, amazing actor. Is he performing or performing. receiving? performing. He's performing, guys, okay? All right. So he is amazing to other people. Él es asombroso para otras personas. No es él que se siente asombrado. Él es asombroso para otras personas. Got it? When it is the performer, we use the ing form, right? Very good. Um, I find animated films amusing or amused, guys. Um, uh, or you should say amused, amused, guys. Amused. 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 Okay. Very good. Number three. I'm not interesting not or interested. 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 Very good. Interesting. What about number four? I'm bored. 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 Okay. I'm bored by watching television, okay? Very good. Uh, number five. Exciting. 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 All right. I thought you asked if I was an exciting book. Very good. Number six. Fascinated. Fascinated. Very good, okay. Why is it not I am fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels? Because it's an emotion. Because, very good. Okay, no, but but why, guys? I I actually explain because you can say I'm fascinating. So what is the difference be, between I'm fascinating 
versus I'm fascinated. It's, it's a it's saber. Opinion. Performance. Very good, because who is the performer of the action in this case, guys? I am. I, I am? No. Who is the performer? No. Uh, you are Nobel. talking. Novel. Okay, very yeah, good. Yeah, I told, okay, the novels are the performer, and then you are the receiver, right? Got it? Mm. Very good. So that's the reason why. Uh, so I'm fascinated. Right? I am the, the, the receiver. All right, number seven. What is number seven? Right. Surprising. surprising. All right, surprising. it's uh, surprising. It's surprising that horror movies are so popular, okay? Uh, I was really... Shocking, that is the second one. I was really shocking. Okay, yeah, I was. We should say, guys, I'm sorry, there is a mistake there. They should be shocked, okay? I was, I was really shocked. It's for platform. All right, yeah, that, that, that was a mistake from the platform, okay? All right, number nine. What is number nine? It's disgusting. Very good, okay, because the mess is not a person. Number uh number ten. Confusing. 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 Confusing, guys. Very good. Good job, guys. All right, it's gonna take like ten years to submit the answers, but those are okay, guys. Okay, guys, do we have any questions regarding this topic? Or is it all good? Complicated. Come on, what do you mean complicated? Yes, it's you complicated. Got, you got it's a confusing. It's confusing. It's confusing or it's confu or it's confused. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> confusing. It is. It is confusing. Okay. It's too much for size, teacher. <laughs> All right, guys. No, but you got it, guys. You got it. Okay. I I, I really see that you got it. Um. So, guys, tomorrow we have a class. No class. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it in Spanish because. Uh, you can say, no, I can't, no, entendí, no, ahí. Mañana sí hay clases, ¿ok? <laughs> Después la otra semana vamos a tener clases de lunes a jueves. Right? Y de ahí la otra semana también vamos a tener clases de lunes a jueves. Pero como empezamos el miércoles, right? Mañana sí hay clases, así que si van a ir a Chupulero o Dualipa, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> de bien, right? adelante. Por favor, ah, de 10 en adelante, ¿verdad? Uber a las 10 de la noche. Y si no, con el chilillo. Alguien preguntó, guys, que, alguien preguntó que qué era Dualipa. ¿Qué era? ¿Si era un chupadero qué? ¿Qué era un chupadero? <risa> Dualipa right. es cantor. ¿Es una buena idea? Yeah, yeah, but after 10, guys, after 10, right? After class, right? I mean, or if, I don't know, if you want, but just come to class, that's the point, okay? Like, if, if you, if you want to be tipsy, that's okay, but come to class. All right, guys, so if you don't have any further questions, it's been a pleasure being with you tonight. And you take care of yourselves, guys. All right. Okay. Bye. Right, see you. See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.